So I'm asking you, Charles, so what? <clears throat> you go to a matter of fact, can we keep it funky? Mm -hmm. What's the most that you've ever gotten to do or to be Charleston White? Uh, $40,000 for, for a two-day interview. Okay, $40,000. Now, if you could say, I could change that $40,000 to $400,000, would you just leave that $40,000 or would you go get $400,000? I'm going to go get $400,000. Is that not what Deion Sanders did? Mm -mm. Okay, what did Deion Sanders do? Uh, Deion's son is a star quarterback that he's trying to get to the league, and he's fathering his son, he's fathering his son to the league with nobody else's children in mind. And he's getting a pretty big check to do it. And what he's doing is he's robbing black people of their star power. He's yeah. robbing black people of their economics because he done took it and gave it to the white man. Because the, the, ooh, the, ooh. the, the, the space that you speak of, why not? Why not send it back there too? Why leave it here? Why the baby? Why Lil Wayne? Why all these major people don't go stand on the sideline of coaches that's not a celebrity? Why they don't do it to people who not celebrity? Because, Why? Because this is what I know about black people. They worship and they idolize celebrities. That's why they are worshiping and idolizing Dion. They worship. They worship. They worship and idolize celebrities. And so I'm here to say, fuck them celebrities from King Von to Nip. Because when us regular people need, uh, when we need help, they don't come. They don't step down and come fuck with us. That ain't true. Man, I've been in the community for the last 12 years. Man, I know Dion lived in Prosper, Texas, Dallas, Texas. Dion was never there outside of his prime organization but football. That, but that's him there, though. I, but that's why I'm saying fuck him because no, I, I was in the community with him. I, I was at the football game with him. I watched how his arrogance walked past the parents and the kids. I saw how arrogant he was to his people. Mm -hmm. He ain't loving Man I, done, man, I done fought with the police. I was at every city council meeting. So when the football and celebrity nigga go to talking, I said, man, y'all talking from up here. I'm talking from down here with these people. I'm in the schools. I'm in the juveniles. I'm in the jails. I'm in the prison. I'm standing on stand swearing as a, on murder cases and capital murder cases. Man, y'all talking from up there. It's easy to say fuck y'all. Easy to say fuck Dion so it, it, and his son who driving a Rolls Royce who kid and these kids down here dropping out of school to go strip and sell pussy because they daddies don't have the money to send them because they can't eat. But he got a Rolls Royce that won't pay the parking fine. Now, keep putting it in their face. Keep showing up, putting them watches in them kids' face. That's why y'all got robbed in UCLA. See, that's what I'm talking about. The Bible speaks for the least of those. Those kids up there ain't the least of those. That's why I talk about the poor nigga babies. Okay. So, can we keep it funky? Yes, sir. Charles, so why it sound like you a hater? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm a realist. No, because uh, you're talking about you talking about materialistic things. No, 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 no. Favor ain't fair. I'm, ta I, I, I'm so talking. So when you talking about, I'm talking Shadur about, Sanders I'm talking about and, and, socialism and classism. We ain't talking about favor. No, but but, but when you put it in their face, that ain't favor because favor is meek, mild, and humble. So you mad that that Shadur no, did? No, 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 no. I'm glad they got. I'm glad they got robbed. I'm glad they got robbed. Nah, I'm, nah, yeah, I'm glad nah. he got robbed. Nah, I'm, glad see, every, I'm, glad, I'm glad every school he went to, he done been robbed. That's cooning. No, it ain't. That's cooning. No, it ain't. Because you bring it, so, see, see, because why I say that's cooning is you turning your story and your beliefs, using your platform to tear down a person who's bringing notoriety to something that wasn't that wasn't there. Well they well they use their platform to tear down the black school by not giving them the light. But because you, the black school had but this is what I'm saying. Black people for the last two years when he was at Jackson State, y'all was HBCU hashtagging. I'm talking about you couldn't get on the internet and not see HBCU hashtag. What happened, y'all? Y'all cooning now. With the white man with Colorado University, y'all cooning now? What happened to the HBCU hashtags? That's all I'm saying. What happened? I'm still HBCU hashtagging while I'm cooning. Yes, sir. And I'm still showing up at the HBCU by an HBCU girl mm -hmm. and rocking it on the major platform. I don't see nobody HBCU in it like me. So who cooning? So I'm going to tell you this. You just sit up and told me that you made forty thousand dollars in two days, mm -hmm. and you also just told me that if you had an opportunity to make four hundred thousand dollars, you would take that. So the fact that 
I just, just said, I, hold on, hold on, I'll let you finish. Let me just say, okay. I turned down a $5 million deal with Aiden Ross and Kick to take a half a million dollar deal with niggas. I turned down a $5 million deal with Aiden Ross and Kick to come over here to sign a half a million dollar deal with niggas so I can stay with my people. Mm. Yeah, they say I'm dumb and stupid. Yeah, I turned down $5 million so I can go sign half a million. So I can stay with these niggas. I ain't want to sell out and go beat up them white folks. Take all my star power over there with Kick and Aiden Ross with them Jews. I wasn't fit to do that, my nigga. I stayed with the niggas. Culture TV. Don't even know if they can give me the whole half a million. But nigga, I stayed with my people, my nigga. My spirit wouldn't let me do it. So I don't give a damn what Dion, that Dion taught. Nigga, I sacrificed for it. Yeah, when I told them white folk, I'm not leaving my people, they took back the, 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 it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a curriculum. And for those that know, it's a curriculum called Thinking for a Change. When Obama implemented the My Brother's Keepers initiative, there's a curriculum that's called Thinking for a Change. It's damn near a hundred thousand dollar curriculum. White folk gave it to me. But they said, Charleston, we want you. We don't want your people. I said, if you take me away from my people, you diminish the value of who I am for my people. I'm going to say it again. When you take me away from my people, you diminish the value of who I am for my people. And I refuse to do that. And Dion diminished his value to his people for his people to go over there. You got enough money where you ain't got to do How much money you want? I don't want a hundred million. I don't want a billion. It's that much harder to get in heaven if you believe that word. I don't want a hundred million, my nigga. I want to walk amongst my people. I want to be able to go to the bottom of the least of those. He can't do that. Him know his son, they go rob him. I ain't been robbed yet, and I show up with no security. I done say fuck Nipsey, I done say fuck the Crips, fuck Raymond Washington, I done disrespected everything these niggas done killed for, and I travel with no security. They can't do that up there. Nah. That don't mean you ain't been looking over your shoulder. Pepper I ain't spray. been looking over my shoulder. You I just went to sleep. Spray. I just went to sleep in the barber shop and got hit in the head with the pistol in the hood. It's Viron in there. I didn't look over my shoulder in the hood. I went to sleep. I ain't looking over my shoulder. I went to sleep in the barber shop trail. Nigga come hit me, a killer. I didn't look over my shoulder. Nigga, I went to sleep. Yeah. I go, it's pictures of me sleeping in a strip club like this. Sir. I ain't looking over my shoulder. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. I speak against evil. Okay, let me ask you this. So you think if Deion Sanders goes sitting in that barber chair, you think he gonna get hit with a pistol without no security? He gonna get robbed and hit. No. You lying to me? No. You lying. Know. He getting robbed right now. That's cat. Him and his son getting robbed right now. He got robbed in Jacksonville. Yeah. But see, Deion, Deion coached football. I address killers in the neighborhood. I address the niggas who kill in our communities. Dion don't. Mm -hmm. I address the gang bangers who but, do wrong. But you just got pistol whipped, though. No, I didn't Trump. get pistol whipped. I got hit. What's the difference? Uh, a hit and pistol whip is a different thing, nigga. You got hit I with got the hit pistol? in the head and jumped up, nigga, and I ain't get hit no more. Because I know what to do when a nigga hit me. I ain't get hit no more. What you do? Nigga, I went to work. Oh, y'all was fighting. I went to work. That's it. I went to work. What that mean? Oh, uh, I ain't get hit no more. So you, you do it. This, this this ain't even been a week. Yeah, but y'all was fighting. I got hit sleep. And then y'all, you how got I'm on, listen. How I'm gonna fight? Get hit sleep and a nigga hit. I'm dazed when a nigga hit me, so I ain't no fighting. Nigga, I went to grabbing. So you got hit and y'all got the. I went to grabbing stuff shit. I went. We the nigga didn't touch me no more. I went to grabbing shit. Nigga, you don't hit me no more. But did you hit him back? Mm mm. Like, how I'm gonna hit? I'm dazed. If the nigga hit you with a pistol sleep, how are you gonna wake up? Nigga, you dazed. He got you, I'm sleep like this, here. So, this is, this is what I'm telling you. I wake up, nigga, and grab the closest thing I could as a weapon till I can come to, and it ended. So, so this is what I'm saying. Dion coached football. I address killers. I say, fuck King Von. Nipsey, rolling 60s, and if you kill in my community, I'm gonna say you did it, nigga. You don't get to ride around here and holler no snitching. Who did that killing? I'm the nigga come out and say they shot that baby. And you bitch ass nigga better turn y'all self in, nigga, and we ready to go to war with that. See, Dion don't do who that. Who is, when you say we, who Me. Is and I got some niggas go go to war. Okay. Now I got some niggas go go to war, homie. See, this, see, this is the thing, Charleston. Like, I, I, I think, 
everything that you're saying has some truth to it. It's just the, the delivery. You oh. standing, there's no denying that you're standing for and by your people. Well, here's the thing. Uh, when you're addressing evil, you can't worry about the delivery. When you're looking at the conditions of our community, you can't worry about the evil when you got kids that kill kids and say, we smoking on Tuca. See, they wasn't worried about the delivery when these kids in Chicago were talking about smoking on Tuca. Mm -hmm. They weren't worried about the delivery. I ain't got no manners for no slut. I'm going to put my thumb in her butt. The delivery? I like girls kissing girls where I'm from. And that's on the radio. Girls on girls. That's, they, that's promoting lesbianism to my daughter as we driving to school. This song they playing with Drake. Y'all worried about the delivery? These niggas talking about killing each other. And they really, that nigga thug said, nigga, I shot at your mama. You don't mention me no more. He really shot that nigga mama. And y'all worried about my delivery? These niggas are confessing to murders on songs. And y'all worried about my delivery? The conditions of black sucking them, talking about booty hole. Y'all worried about my delivery? Come on, don't be hypocrites, black people. Y'all can't listen to this music if y'all so caught up in my delivery. Don't do me like that. And the way y'all snap and pop y'all pussy to this music, the way y'all kill and drill to this music, don't trip about my delivery. Hey, yo, easy. Why you wear your pants like that? I wear my pants like that because that's easy access, baby. Easy. Why you talk like that? I talk like that to get my point across. Because when I wasn't talking like that, wearing a bow tie, y'all wasn't paying me no attention. And I was going to the Supreme Court changing laws and legislations in this country. I was working with over 50 U.S. congressional members from Ted Cruz to Mark Rubio, Senator John Cornyn. I was on the front page of the American Bar Association Journal. I had done a study with News 21, Walter Conkrike School of Journalism. Y'all wasn't paying attention then. So, nigga, I gave y'all what y'all want. A ignorant motherfucking nigga that talk like them rappers. Now y'all listening. Now y'all paying attention, huh? I got y'all attention, checkmate. Now let me tell y'all what y'all need to hear. We fucked up as a race of people since y'all so caught up into my delivery. 5% of children now are catching HIV from ages 13 to 21. What y'all worried about? 85% of the new chlamydia, all the new cases of teenagers. What y'all so caught up about? Nigga, only 35% of most kids in inner cities can read on or above their grade level. What the fuck are y'all talking about and these kids can't read? Come on, my nigga. So if we go be real, let's be real. Oh, uh, I'm not bashing the black woman in her BBLs. I'm not bashing the, the black woman because she wearing eyelashes. I'm not fucking with the sister because she got too many baby daddies. 